protesters are hitting the streets right now in Puerto Rico. They're calling on the governor to resign after offensive messages were leaked. Brian Yenis is in San Juan with the very latest on this one. Hi, Brian. Hi, Laura. Well, tonight, this is day eight of continuous protests calling on Governor Ricardo Rosselló to resign. You can see behind me, this is what they call a cacerolazo. They are banging pots and pans right outside of the entrance of La Fortaleza, which is the governor's mansion. They've been here for the last four hours. This really started the protesting on Saturday of last week when 889 pages of text messages from a group chat with Rosa Yo and 11 of his aides came out. They were misogynistic, they were homophobic, they were uh, abhorrent things said about political opponents, and there were also mocking and jokes made about the Hurricane Maria victims. And for many people here, that was enough, because they've had suspicion for years here that this government was not only corrupt, but also unethical. Take a listen to Francisco Guerrero. We spoke to him a few hours ago. We're here motivated, uh, as all these people are with us. Uh, we, we want Ricky out. I think it's gone too far. He's done uh, too much damage about bad governance. It's about corruption. It's about high-level government corruption that's costing a lot of money. It's ruining our own reputation for the American people. Um, it's unacceptable. The big issue now is wondering when or not Rosselló is going to resign. Things really hit ahead on Wednesday night when tear gas was shot out. But by and large, 90% of these protests have been peaceful. Meanwhile, Ricardo Rosselló continues to send Instagram tweets and photos of him having meetings as if it's business as usual. Well, it's not business as usual. You can tell from the tens of thousands in the streets and also the calls for resignation coming from the mainland. Uh, Joe Biden, the former vice president, tweeting, Governor Rosselló's comments are shameful. Hateful language should be given no safe harbor. Regardless of political title, the people of Puerto Rico will be heard and they will decide who leads their government. Laura, so far, about a dozen of the Democratic candidates have spoken out in solidarity with the Puerto Rican people, but some, like Tulsi Gabbard, the representative from Hawaii, are here on the island. She's the only one, and she is calling for Rosselló to outright resign. Some are saying to resign. Others are saying they're there for solidarity. But all in all, the calls are growing louder for him to step down. Laura? Brian Yenis for us, live in Puerto Rico on the streets there, where things have been loud and staying that way, it appears. Brian, thank you.